the strategic resolve of our nation, the United States, is being challenged and our alliance is tested in ways we haven't faced in many, many decades. But I want to be clear. I want to be clear to those who try to oppose the United States. I want to be clear to those who wish to do us harm. I want to be clear to those around the world who want to destroy our way of life and that of our allies and friends. Stop you and we will beat you harder than you've ever been beaten before. And the other thing you know is you're going to lose. You will lose to the American Army. Make no mistake about it. We can now and we will remain in the future, retain the capability to rapidly de deploy and, and we will destroy any enemy, anywhere, anytime. So I stand here today and I caution the enemies of America who doubt or misread our capability. And we are being increasingly challenged with very capable potential adversaries clearly acting in opposition of our interests. It's our aim to deter war, but if deterrence fails, we as an army, we as a nation, must be prepared to fight. In Europe, we see a revanchist Russia, who has modernized their military and pursued an aggressive foreign policy in Georgia, Crimea, Ukraine, and elsewhere. In Asia, we are in the third decade of the biggest global economic shift in five centuries, and resulting in a rapidly rising China as a great power with a revisionist foreign policy backed up with an increasingly capable military. And that Russia sees itself in direct confrontation with the West. That China continues its robust military modernization program directly aimed at what they consider to be US, U.S. strengths. But that is a relatively minor nuisance compared to the resources of an advanced nation state like Russia, China, or even North Korea and Iran can bring to bear. At this point, we can say a few things we've learned about future high-end war between nation states or great powers. And the first, not surprisingly, is that will be highly lethal, very highly lethal, unlike anything our army has experienced, at least since World War II. Additionally, the battlefield will be highly complex, almost certainly in dense urban areas and against an elusive, ambiguous enemy that combines terrorism and guerrilla warfare alongside conventional capabilities mixed with large civilian populations. The accumulating challenges we face and the changing character of war is unlike anything our current force has ever experienced in intensity and lethality.